In this video, we're going to be showing you guys how to solve a system of ODEs using the eigenvalue method when you have repeated eigenvalues. For this video, I'm assuming that you guys are familiar with the eigenvalue method. So we're going to be skipping a lot of steps and getting right to the root of the issue. So in this system of ODEs, we have our matrix A. Just like in all the previous examples, what you want to do is first you want to find the eigenvalues. So you set up this equation here. And we've already done it for you. And so the eigenvalues are 2 and 1. So let's go ahead and first focus on eigenvalue is equal to 2. So immediately from this, since we see that that this root is only 1, the multiplicity is 1, so its algebraic multiplicity is 1. Then you can go ahead and solve this equation here at, to find the eigenvectors like you would previously, and you're going to find that the eigenspace is exactly this here. You pick, um, for example, t is equal to 1, and then you have your eigenvector. So the geometric multiplicity here is 1, meaning the dimension of the eigenspace is 1. So this is great. The algebraic multiplicity and the geometric multiplicity are equal. So the defect is the difference between these two. So 1 minus 1. So the defect is 0. There is no problems in this situation. And we can easily write out what a solution is. So the solution is going to be V times e to the lambda t. And so in this particular case, our vector is going to be 3, 3, 2, and e to the eigenvalue, which is 2 times t. So this is a solution. Great. Let us move on. So now we work with lambda is equal to 1. And we want to figure out the multiplicity. Well, we know the multiplicity. The multiplicity is 2. If you scroll back up to, the, to this equation, we see that lambda is equal to 1 has a double root. So its multiplicity is going to be 2, the algebraic one. So now we want to figure out what, how to, um, what the geometric multiplicity is. Well, you first want to solve this here to find the eigenvector. If you do that, you're going to find that all solutions to that equation are of the form this here. Therefore, um, this vector here, if you let t is equal to 1, you're going to find a this is an eigenvector. And so you can write your solution um, just as above. You're going to go ahead and take your vector 0, negative 1, 1, times e to the lambda, which is 1. So then we're just going to put a t. So knowing that you can represent all eigenvectors in this form here in the box on the bottom right, you know the dimension of the eigenspace is equal to 1. So therefore, it also tells you that the, um, ge that the uh, geometric multiplicity for for lambda is equal to 1 is going to be 1. So therefore, the defect, so let me go ahead and add a space here, add a new page. So we have concluded the following. So the geometric multiplicity is going to be 1. Therefore, the defect is going to be 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1. So here lies our problem. If we had two linearly independent eigenvectors corresponding to lambda is equal to 1, we're good to go. But now we have a problem. So now we need to figure out how to solve this situation. So we're going to be focusing on how to obtain another linearly independent vector x3. We have x1, we have x2, now we need a third one since this is a 3 by 3 matrix. So 
we are dealing here with lambda is equal to one because that is where the problem lies. So we're gonna keep it a little bit general for, the, for a moment. So what we want is, first of all, we want, we want a V2, we want another vector such that the following holds. So we want A minus lambda I times V3 to be equal, so my apologies, not V3, but V2 to be equal to V1, where V1 minus lambda times the identity times V2 is equal to zero. In other words, V2 needs to be an eigenvector for lambda. So in our case, lambda is equal to one. So we did that already. So let's go ahead and scroll up and let's go ahead and, and, and copy and paste our vector. So here is V1. So I did a small typo. This, this should not be a two on the far right. That should be a one. So V1 is going to be that. We already know it's an eigenvector. So now let us go ahead and solve this here. We know V1. Now we need to figure out what V2 is. So we need our matrix A. Let's go ahead and go to the top and grab our matrix A. Copy. Scrolling back down a little too far. Paste it here. And we want to subtract 1 times the identity and we're multiplying also times V2. And on the far left, I'll put what we're solving for. We're solving for V1. And we know what V1, so let's just go ahead and put it in there. It's going to be 0, negative 1, and 1. So we keep going here. We subtract 1 on the diagonals. We're going to get 0, 0, and 1. 1 everywhere else stays the same. Let's make this a little bit neater. Okay, I have uh, messed this up, so let's me let me go ahead and erase it and st um, start again. So 0, 3, 3, 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 1, and 1 times v1. So, uh, not v1, v2. v2. All right. So let's go ahead and solve this. So to solve this, what we do here is we want to set up this augmented matrix here. I've already set it up for you. So then you do your row operations, and we have here the, uh, the reduced form, and this is what you're going to be getting. So then, this tells you that if you let v2 be the vector v1, v2, v3, but those are its components, then what we're going to get is that v1 is equal to negative 1, v2 plus v3 is equal to 0, therefore v2 is equal to negative v3, Therefore, V2 is going to be of the form negative 1, negative V3, and V3. You go ahead and pick your favorite V3. So let's go ahead and just pick V3 is equal to 1. And what we're going to get negative 1, negative 1, and 1. And this is what V2 is. So then our new solution... This is what we, what you're interested in, not in V2 individually, but you want a solution. So then your solution is going to be V3 
I mean V2, plus V1 times T times E to the T, and in there you put your, uh, your lambda. So in this particular case, it's going to be 1. So then, if we write this out, we're going to get negative 1, negative 1, and 1, plus V1. Let's go ahead and remember what V1 was, or we'll just go ahead and copy, scroll down, and paste it. Close this off here, times T, parentheses, times E to the T. So there you go. This is your third linearly independent solution from the previous ones. And what do you do with these? Well, the solution is going to be, so the, so the general solution is going to be all linear combinations of x1, x2, and x3. So with some constants, and you go ahead and add them up, and there you go. This is your solution.